youngsters, some awkward leather suits, and a ton of speed force? Add all that up and you finally get what the modern day version of the comic book series, The Flash. But throughout the series, there were many speedsters zapping left and right. And if you want to know which of them was the absolute fastest, then here are the 10 fastest speedsters in The Flash. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Number 10, Godspeed. Well, this guy's made it to the top of our list because he's pretty fast if you ask us. Even though Godspeed didn't appear too much in the CW's The Flash, we're here to fill in the blanks. If you're a fan of the comic books, you know that Godspeed, or August Hart, was actually a detective on the police force. It's only when his brother is murdered that he turns into one of The Flash's major enemies. Now, you should know that he has the usual super speed and the ability to cast lightning bolts much like other speedsters of his kind. Next is his ability to take another speedster's speed with or without killing them, depending on the situation. Plus being able to <gasps> smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But sure, it's a plus, but no. But he was able to create all of these clones of him, which helps a lot even though all of them are much slower than the real Godspeed as he has to share the speed force among his clones equally. I've known guys like you. Peaked in high school, never got over it. All these powers and look at you. Bully then, bully now. Number nine, Eliza Harmon. Before she received the gift of super speed, Eliza Harmon was just another scientist working for Mercury Labs. We say she received the gift of super speed because she injected Velocity 9 formula into her body and that's how she became one of the fastest speedsters on the show. The formula was developed by Caitlin Snow and Harrison Wells, and as you know, she went overboard with it. Immediately after receiving her power, she called herself Trajectory and became one of the major villains to The Flash. She even destroyed an entire bridge just to cause chaos in the city. We thought her powers were infinite as long as she injected more and more Velocity 9 into her bloodstream. But that didn't turn out to be the case. When she injected even more Velocity 9, she gained a lot of speed first, then the lightning troll turned blue, and that's when it happened. She disintegrated into midair, and the only thing left behind was her suit. Now, I may not be able to help him, but if I can save someone from a burning building or stop some armed thieves, I'm gonna do it. And you can't stop me. Number 8, Nora West Allen. Now this little runner caused a lot of trouble in the fifth season of The Flash. First of all, it was because she was the daughter of Barry and Iris Allen, which means she's the daughter of The Flash. She came back from the future to warn his father about the dangerous Eobard Thwan, who was imprisoned in 2049. And she also had a secret mission to destroy Cesadia's dagger and save her father from being killed in the near future. Now, do you see why she caused a lot of problems in Teen Flash, which, by the way, she was part of. Now, even though she vanished after Teen Flash defeated Cicada, she is still one of the fastest speedsters in existence. Well, she is the daughter of the Flash, I mean, after all, now, isn't she? Hey! What is this? Where the hell am I? Somewhere you'll never hurt anyone ever again. Who the hell do you think you are? Number 7, Zoom. While some of you might argue that he's much faster than any of the other speedsters we have on this list, here's why he took the number 7 spot. For the most part, it's because he's not an actual speedster, which means he doesn't get his powers naturally. As you might already know, the man got his super speed not because of his speed force inside him, but because he was injured when the Star Labs particle accelerator exploded. During the electroshock therapy, the dark matter seeped into his body and merged with his DNA, causing him to have superhuman speed. Again, we know he's one of the fastest speedsters on The Flash, but the guy didn't get his powers the normal way. Not to mention he's a serial killer that basically does whatever he pleases. He almost killed Barry for Christ's sake. He's that good. I knew you didn't have it in you, Caitlin. Number 6, Wally West. The Wally West in the comics and the Wally West in the series are two completely different characters. For one, Wally West in the second Flash in the comics, and he's the one that saved the entire planet in Crisis in Infinite Earths. In CW The Flash, Wally West is quite different. First of all, he's the son of Joe West, 
Joe's wife loved anything related to speed, so any street racing, fast cars, and motorcycles were never off the list. When Wally was born, he wanted to become a speedster like The Flash, especially so since he saw Jesse Wells gain her powers. Now, here's the tricky part. Barry Allen is one of the fastest beings in existence, but Wally West managed to surpass his speed when he first got his super speed. This could mean that the future we could see him surpass Barry on the speedometer. I'll never let the pain and darkness determine who I am. I will never be you. Number 5, Jay Garrick. Jay Garrick is the first time that Barry Allen and his entire team, Flash, was introduced to another speedster and the truths about infinite realities. And here's how he got to Earth. On Earth 3, Jay Garrick was fighting Zoom, which we already said is one of the fastest and evilest speedsters of all time. Jay Garrick lost the speed battle to Zoom and he got sucked into a time portal and that's how he ended up on Earth. Now, what you might not have known about the character is that Jay Garrick is John Wesley's ship. And if you're a real big fan of The Flash, then you'll know that he's the guy that played The Flash in one show from the 90s. Plus, the fact that he managed to pull Barry Allen from the time stream tells us how fast he is. That's why he's our number five. Number four, Reverse Flash. Now, this might be a bit confusing to all the hardcore fans out there. Why? Because they know Reverse Flash is the name given to many villainous speedsters. But the one we're referring to is the Eobod Thawin, one of the fastest people alive. He is actually from the 22nd century and he is absolutely obsessed with the explosion that gave Barry his abilities. That's why Thawin managed to create the explosion and get the powers for himself. And as you can already guess, this gave him the ability to travel through time and finally meet Barry Allen. Since they're pretty much equals when it comes to speed, we chose to place him pretty far up on our list. We know that their powers are equal because neither Barry or Thawin was able to defeat the other in combat. Number 3, Savitar. While some of you may know him as real life speed god, that's really not the case. And he's not our number one pick because he's the fastest being in existence only while he was in the speed force. Once he got out, all his powers diminished and his role as the fastest being or the speed god were obsolete. And you know what? He gave Barry a pretty good bashing on the show, and it's not surprising because when we finally saw his real face, we knew that this guy meant serious business. He looked exactly like Barry Allen, he just has a scar on his right cheek. Now, he did say that he was the Flash from the future who eventually ended up killing Iris. So no one really knows how powerful this guy is, but he's not faster than our next pick, that's for sure. Number 2, The Black Flash. This is pretty much as fast as they get. The Black Flash is not a human being, it's an entity. A creature that can sense the speed force and comes after all those speedsters who overstep their boundaries. Now, the Black Flash was once Hunter Zolomon, but the time wraiths caught him from interfering with time, but instead of killing him, they offered an alternative. He needed to become one of their agents, and in return, they would spare his life. So when you're the guy that needs to catch all the speedsters, it means you have to be faster than any of them. But is he faster than our number one pick? Number one, Barry Allen. You pretty much knew it by now, but he is our confirming pick again. Oh, and did you know that Barry Allen is faster than the Black Flash? And since the Black Flash is kind of like the Grim Reaper, but for speedsters, and Barry cannot run him, that means Barry cannot run death. How's that up for awesome? Eobard Thawin said that his speed could eventually turn out to be unlimited. Since Barry Allen spent six months inside the speed force, he managed to amass a speed that's unmatched by the other speedster so far. Some even say that he's faster than Superman since the Justice League loves to pin these two together in races just so they could test out their speeds. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, who's your favorite speedster? You can tell us in the comment section below, and if you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.